Anyone who's pursued their dream of becoming a pilot likes to spend as much time as possible in their airplane. Well, there's a man in Ashland City who gets to spend a whole lot of time in his because, well, he lives in it. Tammy Arinder takes us to the home of Red Lane where the landing gear is always down. If you're not expecting to see the DC-8 jetliner nestled in the woods of Cheatham County, you can really be taken aback. It's almost like coming up on a crash scene, except this plane is intact and the pilot is alive and well. All I had to do was take the walls out and move in, basically. You know, because right. you don't have to do anything as far as... The inside was just all there. Red Lane, a former There's airplane mechanic and now an accomplished songwriter, yeah. Yeah, calls this down. jet home sweet home. Red actually found this DC-8 in Smyrna, of all places. It was one of only two places in the country that worked on DC-8s at that time. And to get this plane to Cheatham County, it had to be cut into pieces. As a matter of fact, this tail section was so tall, he had to cut it off and it had to be laid horizontally. Also, it took five flatbed trucks to get each of these pieces to Nashville from Smyrna, traveling at a maximum of 25 miles per hour. And just during the overnight hours, it took him almost 28 days to get the plane in all totality to Ashland City. And when I got out to Smyrna, this airplane was sitting out there and they were, they were taking it apart. And I asked him, I said, what? What are they going to do with that old airplane? Because I saw a house with no maintenance, you know? And the guy that, that ran the place out there, he said, that's what you need, Red. You need that old airplane. Everybody laughed. Two weeks later, I bought it. You are now free to move about the country. It is now safe to move about the cabin. Red furnished the fuselage the way you would any home. He built a full kitchen and a real bathroom. All fastened seatbelt signs have been removed, so you are free to eat, sleep, and play your guitar in the aircraft slash house. Parachuting, it said jumping out of airplanes is the thing. You can't be being surrounded by what you love, you know? And even if it's uh, nothing but a, a couch and a chair or something in a house that you live in, is it whenever you get there and you close the door, you're home. Red has left some non-traditional decor intact. Not many homes tell you where you can find your life vest, and you certainly won't have to fight over a window or aisle seat since the 177 seats were taken out. Red's dream of living in an airplane took flight years ago when he and John Wayne's pilot were introduced. His pilot and uh, a friend of mine, Hank Cochran, the songwriter, got together and I found out about it, and I wanted to get one of those. I wanted a, a house that, that flew. Once he got his house that flew, he continued to write songs. He's had dozens of cuts by Merle Haggard, George Strait, George Jones, and Ray Charles, and many more. One of his biggest songs to soar to the top of the charts was John Connolly's Miss Emily's Picture, which actually had a big impact on my life in 1981. Look out my window and what do I see? Nothing but pain looking back at me. And all that my future means to me is tossing yesterday's love out into the wind. And straighten Miss Emily's picture. Wake up in the morning in a state of pride. That's almost gonna make me cry, because you know what? <laughs> when that song was a hit, I thought that phrase, looking out the window and what do I see? Nothing mm -hmm. but pain looking back at me. That's when I knew I wanted to be a writer. I didn't know if oh, I could really? ever be a songwriter because I couldn't play anything by ear. I can play the piano but not by ear. But that's when I knew I wanted to be a writer. My head is in the clouds now, but Red's head is usually in the clouds. He and his aviating neighbors have even put on air shows for their relatives and friends in their residential respite, complete with a runway. You either have to be invited to this gated community or live here and own an airplane. 
But if you are invited, the directions aren't difficult. Come to the bicycle and wind sock and turn left and I'm the first airplane on the right. While the DC-8 gives Red ample living space, he's also enclosing an area under the belly of the plane. This area is still under construction. He's using the landing gear as the center of the room and building around it. Red asked his songwriting friend Tommy Smith to build a very unusual fireplace for this area. Doesn't really have anything to do with flying, but it does have something to do with fire and ice. The fireplace is surrounded by two waterfalls, but you certainly can't forget that you're directly underneath a jetliner. It's that constant closeness to the DC-8 that keeps Red happy because it reminds him of his favorite thing to do, and that's fly. It's, uh, it's kind of like flying around on a motorcycle at about 5,000 feet. And, you know, you got the cap and the goggles and the scarf and the whole deal. You look like Snoopy. Hey, yeah. boy. <laughs> it, it, it's a fun deal. Red is one of only five people in the world who lives in a jet. As far as he knows, he's the only one in the U.S. For him... It's about living the American dream with wings. I have never, ever woke up in this place wishing I was somewhere else. Never. But I can't remember ever being more afraid than the day I jumped from Uncle Harvey's plane.